Well, welcome back to the ball yard here at Otto County Fairgrounds in Minneapolis as second game of the doubleheader with the visiting Plainville Cardinals and the Minneapolis Lions gets ready to go here at uh, point until six in the afternoon. Lions, we won't repeat the score again of the first game, but it was it was bad. A lot of power exhibited by the Coming to Cardinals. The Cardinals. Second baseman number two. Tyrell Owens set here. On senior set to start catcher, 10, for the Lions. The, the center fielder number five, Casey. In this doubleheader. Second game of the doubleheader. Alex Jensen, the catcher. Sean Forte out at third. Casey Argon right at short, I believe. Corman, John Corman possibly at third, or at short second. I'll get it all spit out here eventually, excuse me. Final warm-ups being done here. Let's see if the Lions can't uh, make this game a little closer or get a victory here. Again, this is our first broadcast of the season. We had two other games scheduled, one in April and one, one uh, last Thursday against Wilson, but both games, days were just extremely windy. Would have been impossible to do a broadcast. First pitch of this game coming up, Tyrell Owens pitching. Swing and a hit to Sean Forte at third, to first. He's out. One down. Now batting to catcher, number 10, Brungart. Brungart. Their catcher is up. Have an announcer this game. That'll help. Four days. Excuse me. Owens delivers. Ball one. He connects, second base, Corman loses it. It did not get there in time. The Runner safe at first, Casey. fielding error. Steal, attempt, and low to the outside. He's going to slide into second safe. Foul tip. Foul down the left field line. A little outside. Two and two the count. Count three and two. There's a hit just past the umpire out of first. Double play. Oh. Oh, 
Home plate umpire calls him safe. Now batting the shortstop, number one. So two down. Runner scoring position. Sean did not have a force at third, so he threw it to home, which he should do. And the throw back to him from first was a little bit late. Owens stretch, delivery. Out to right field. And it's caught by possibly Craig Forte. I'm not sure. No, it's not Forte. Good catch. Yeah, it is Forte. Craig Forte. Okay, we'll be back after a brief word from our sponsors. It's fast, it's furious, and it's fun! It's Minneapolis Raceway. Minneapolis Raceway has brought you exciting races to Central Kansas and will continue the tradition. Minneapolis Raceway will give you and your family some of the most exciting races ever seen. Go Lions! Where do you go when you need groceries? Jeans IGA, of course. Jeans is proud to be a sponsor of Minneapolis Sports and hopes that you will encourage your children to be as competitive in the classroom as they are in sports. Jeans IGA, a proud sponsor of today's game. Welcome back to the ball yard at Otto County Fairgrounds in Minneapolis. Bottom of the first, it's zero all. Cardinals stranded a runner there in the top of the first, something they didn't do often. In the first game, Casey Argenbright up to bat for the Lions. John Corman on deck. And the warm-ups are done for the Cardinals. Lead-off hitter, Casey Argenbright. Ball one outside. Strike one. One to one to count. Ball two, two and one to count. Swing and a miss. Counts even to two apiece. Got him looking. Strike out. Now batting the second baseman, number four, John Corman. John Corman up to bat. On deck, Austin Jensen. Drag one. High and outside, one and one. Swing and a miss by Corman. One and two, the count. at the pitcher, hits him on the shin. Corman is safe. Now batting the catcher, number 14, Austin Jensen. Austin Jensen up. But Sean Forte on deck. That had to hurt. Pitcher walks it off. Jensen ready. 
It's a delivery. Ball's high. 1 0. Quarman holds on first. There he goes for the steal attempt. Safe. Down the pike, but a little high. One and one the count. Connects, foul ball off to the right. One and two the count for Alex Jensen. Foul ball, foul tip there. One and two still the count. Runner in scoring position the second, John Corman. Jensen ready for the pitch. Here's the delivery. It's a hit. Second baseman gets under it. Coming to the bat. Yeah, the out is recorded. Forte. Sean Forte up. Two outs now. John Corman on second base in scoring position. Maybe I'll finally learn the name of our number 33 here eventually. Swing and a miss by Sean Forte. Yeah, it's hit past the uh, pitcher. Second baseman snarls it and puts Forte out at first. Each team strands a runner here in the top in the first inning. It's a zero to zero. After one, we'll be back after a word from our sponsors. Roth Repair has been a fixture in Minneapolis for some time now. Fixture, get it? Roth Repair can fix, replace, maintain, patch, build, remodel, and mend just about anything. The work is professional and the cost is reasonable. Roth Repair, Minneapolis. Call them today if you need something done right the first time. Welcome back to the ball yard of the Otto County Fairgrounds. The Lions hosting the Plainville Cardinals here in the second game of the doubleheader. After one inning, it's zero all. Each team scoring, or uh, each team stranding a runner in the first inning. Tyrell Owens, pitcher, senior, here on senior day. Alex Jensen, the catcher, low and outside. Cardinals have four or five lefties, which caused quite a lot of consternation for our pitchers in the first game. There's a hit to the second baseman, Corman, snags it, and the runner's out at first. Coming to the plate, pitcher, number four, Perkins. Perkins up to bat for Plainville, the pitcher. Another hit just in the gap between first and second. He's safe at first. Forte cuts it off and brings it in. Wanna Smith, first baseman up. Finn Schrenner comes in for the pitcher.
Forte tried to get him at first. He's safe. Pitch is outside and low. Runner advances to second. Foul tip. Here at zero all, top of the second. One and one is the count. One runner at second. Gets past him, uh, knocked down by Corman, just out of his reach. That's going to score a runner. And the uh, hitter stays at first. Corman really had to reach just to knock that down. So it's 1 0 here, Plainville. Tyrell Owens pitching again. Outside. The runner advances to second into scoring position. Swing and a miss. One and one, I believe, is the count. One and one is the count. Outside and low. Jensen tracks it down. The runner holds it second. He has not tagged. I guess that's not necessary, maybe. Outside. Inside. Takes base and the runner advances to third. So runners at each corner. One to zero to score. Delivery, ball one. Two and the count. Swing and a miss, two and one the count. Strike two. Counts even at two piece. Again, runners at first and third. One out. One to zero is the score. Outside, three and two, full count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two outs now. Cardinals, second baseman, number two, Gilliland. Gilliland, number two for the Cardinals. Outside. One and over the count. Again outside, and uh, comes a runner. Safe. 
And the first base first base runner advances to second. Two to zero the score here, at the top of the second. Two and one, I believe, is the count. Good eye. Three and one is the count now. One runner at second. The hit. And deep to center field. Klein can't bring it in. The double for the batter. Runner second base comes in for the score, making it 3-0. Brings up the catcher, number 10, Brungard. A little high. One of the count for Brungard. Steal attempt at third. Safe is the call. Good job, Harry. He's on base, Brian. Owens delivers outside. Strike. It's uh, the hit. Hits Owens in the leg. Scores a runner. And the hitter holds it first. Four to zero, the score. And the catcher, or coach, comes in to talk with Owens to see if he's okay. Owens says, it hit me on the calf. So, pitchers on each side have been hitting the leg here on hits right back at them in this game. It's a hit to first base, and he's going to beat the runner to first. And that's going to end the inning. Four to two after one and a half. The Lions Trail will be back. You got cards? Todd and Shelly Wilson and Wilson Shields Funeral Home offer affordability and dignity. They know that the Minneapolis Lions will have a great season and want to wish them the best. Wilson Shields Funeral Home, our family serving your family. At Robertson Monument, they believe that supporting community activities are very important. That's why they're sponsors of Lions Sports. Minneapolis is a great town to live in, and Robertson Monument hopes you make it to as many games as possible. All right, top of the bottom of the second coming up. I believe I heard the announcer correctly. They said Brandon Leglider, number 33. Advertisements for playing, so I'm not sure I heard correctly, but top of the second coming up, the four inning scored by the Cardinals there in the bottom top of the second. Leg lighter up from the line, see if we can't get going something and even the score here in the bottom of the second. Hi. 
Two and the count. Swing and a miss. One and two. Or two and one, excuse me. Drag two, two and two. And two. Outside, three and two, full count. Strike three, caught him looking. One down here, bottom of the second. Matt Corman, I could not remember his first name. Outside corner, 0-1-1. Oh and one. High, 1-1. One and one. Swing and a miss by Matt. 1-2 and two now. Two and two. And a hit by Corman through the gap between second and first. Gonna be safe at first. Now batting right fielder number 18, Craig Corte. Craig Forte at bat. Rooster, Klein, Adam on deck. Low and outside. 1 0 the count now. Strike one. One on one the count. Oh high, ball two. Two and one the count for Forte. Inside and high, three and one the count. Yes. Strike two, three and two, full count for Forte. One more, here we go. Foul tip. Still three and two the count. There's one out here in the inning.
Low on that side, they walk him. Corman advances to second. Forte's on first. Adam Rooster Klein on to bat and trying to figure who the on deck batter is. Can't tell from here. Foul tip by Klein. Swing and a miss, 0-2 with the count. Delivery, it's a hit foul down the right sideline. Right baseline, excuse me. 0-2 the count, still. to the count. Delivery, swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two outs now. That brings up the designated hitter, number 19, Dylan Crossan. Oh, Dylan Crossan. I could, didn't recognize him in his baseball togs. Designated hitter. Inside, crossing at the deck. Swing and a miss. One and one the count. is loaded. Two outs. Casey Argenbright to bat. On deck is John Corman. Four to zero is the score in favor of the Cardinals here in the top of the second. Bottom of the second, excuse me. Delivery's outside. One of the count. Hi, two no. Here's the delivery. Strike one on the outside corner. Two and one on the count. Strike two. Evens the count of two. A piece. Casey was ahead and now he's fighting for his life. High. Three and two, four count. Side corner, strand three runners after two innings. It's four to zero in favor of the Cardinals. Back after a word from our sponsors. Ada Green is proud to be a sponsor of Lion Sports and hope that the boys and girls have a successful season. Ada Green believes that sports and a quality education go hand in hand, building strong bodies and minds. E 
Eagle Communications, home of ECTV, high-speed internet, 910 KINA News Talk, and 99 KG Country is a proud sponsor of Lions Sports Coverage. Listen to live broadcast on 910KINA.com or on your local Eagle Cable, Channel 8. Welcome back to the ball yard here at the Ottawa County Fairgrounds, Minneapolis. Top of the third inning coming up. The Lions trailing Plainville three to zero here in this second game of the doubleheader. Tyrell Owens pitching for the Lions. All four runs for Plainville were in the second inning. Want to know the count here? Two and another count. Delivery. Three and oh. Strike one. Across the outside corner. And there's a hit. Out in the right field. Forte. Oh, he had it and drops it. Runner holds it first. Had to run quite a distance to get to it. Just out of the edge of his mitt. So no outs here, top of the third. Lions training, trailing four to zero. Owens went for a pickoff on first. The runner gets back safely. Steal attempt, second, they might be out. He is. Good throw by Jensen there. One out. Shortstop. Arnie right in the ball's low in front of the catcher. Gets away from him. The runner, I said the catcher, first baseman. And uh, but he retrieves it. And the runner will hold it first. Good job stopping it by Arnie Bright. Just could not get the throw quite there. Perkins, the pitcher up at bat. Swing. Gets by first base. Throw to first is not in time. So runners at first and second. Oh, I did get him. Okay. Two outs. No. Bench runner. Runners at first and second. Owens takes a look at the second base runner. Here's the delivery. It's a hit to Sean Forte at third. It's force out at third. He throws to first not in time. Runner advances to third, and they can't get him picked off. Now batting the left fielder, number three, Houston. So now it's two outs with runners at first and third. Thought we had two outs a minute ago, but I was incorrect. Cardinals up four to zero.
Owens delivers. It's a hit. Forte, Sean underneath it and gets it. Nice catch. Ends the inning. No run scored by the Cardinals in the top of the third. It's four to zero. We'll be back for the bottom of the third coming up. Welcome back to the ball yard in the Ottawa County Fairgrounds, Minneapolis. Bottom of the third coming up. The Lions down four to zero. John Corman at bat for the Lions. Alex Jensen on deck. We stranded three runners. At the bottom of the second. High and outside. There's a hit by Corman to a shortstop, and he's going to throw him out at first. One down. Austin Jensen, excuse me, I keep calling him Alex. Sean Forte on deck. Delivery is high. Want to know the count? Swing and a miss. One and one the count. Inside and high. Two and one the count. Swing and a miss, two and two now for Austin. All right, full count now for Jensen, three and two. Smacks it out to left field. It's way over the outfielder. Best hit of the day. Jensen holds it second. Brings up the third baseman, number 17, Sean Forte. Sean Forte. Sean Forte is up in Look later if I heard the name right is up on deck. We'll hear try it again when, when he comes up to bat. There is one out here. You'll send uh, Keegan McCulloch in as a pinch runner for Austin Jensen. Foul tip for Jen, for uh, Forte. Hi. Keegan takes third. Here in the bottom of the third, runner in scoring position, one out. Sean Forte up to bat. The Lions trail four to zero. And I've lost track of the count, excuse me. Swing, foul tip. It's at least one and one, if not one and two. 
Looks like it's one and two. I can start to see the lights out there on the score before. High blooper by uh, Forte falls in front of the center fielder and McCulloch will score, makes it four to one. So run batted in for Forte. Sean Forte. Brings up the first baseman, number 33, Brandon Liglider. Liglider, Brandon Liglider, the name here. It's first baseman. Four to one at the score, bottom of the third, one out. The delivery is inside and high, one of them. Low, two and the count for to leg lighter. Delivery, swing and a miss. Almost up over the fence and back. Foul tip, excuse me. Two and one the count. Strike two. Over the outside corner. Swing and a miss. Two outs now. Forte's on first. Matt Corman's up. Delivery, ball one. Inside and high, ball two. Outside corner, two and one the count. Deliver swing and a miss. Two and two now. Two outs. Two and two the count. One runner on base here. Four to one is the score in favor of the Plainville Cardinals. And there's a hit into center field, and the center fielder has it. Strands a runner. The score is four to one. After three innings, we'll be back after this word from our sponsors. The State Bank of Delphus and the Ottawa County Bank in Minneapolis are locally owned community banks committed to making your banking experience as easy and personal as possible. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Welcome back to the top of the fourth. Shard at bat for Plainville. Put the bat on it now. Top of the fourth, four to one the score in favor of the Cardinals. Tyrell Owens still pitching. Foul. And there's a hit by Shard to center field. Caught by... Caught and dropped by the left fielder. He had to run a distance to get there. Brings up the second baseman, number two, Gilliland. 
Ball one. Inside. Delivery. Foul ball over the Methodist Builder stand. One and one the count. Ball two, two and one. Ball gets away from Jensen. Charge gonna try. Uh, throws late. He goes in standing up. Three and one, I think, is the count. Yes. Walks him. Runners are first and second. Brungart, the lefty is up. Delivers outside and low. One of the other Brungart. Two men on here for the Cardinals in the top of the fourth. And it's a hit. Climbs under it and snags it in center field. Brings up the center fielder, number five, Casey. So Casey, move around, now we can run. Number five, another lefty up at the bat. Two outs here. No. Round ball, you gotta be moving. Another hit high in the left field, Corman is under gets out of his glove uh, gets by the third baseman so runners at second and third brings up the shortstop number one Dreher. just off the end of his glove I'm thinking the scoreboard says one out. I can't remember. Jensen consults with Owens, and we go on. Low and outside. Two the count. It's right over the pitcher. It's past Klein. Two run score. Here comes the third one. And stand up triple on the line drive out to the center field. Score says six to one. I think it should be seven. And the pit coach comes out and talks with Owens. There it is, seven to one now. So we won't be changing pitchers, it doesn't look like, right here. One out here at the top of the fourth. Three runs scored. Makes the score seven to one.
It's a hit to the shortstop. Casey Argenbright, nice snag. Two outs. One runner on third. Seven to one to score. The strike. Own one. Outside and low, one and one the count. Outside again, the low, two and one the count. It's a hit down the third base line. Scores a run, and he's to first base safely. Makes it eight to one with two outs. And a pinch runner comes in for the pitcher. Mona Smith the bat for the Cardinals. Owens tries to get him out of first. Keeps him honest. Owens holds up. There's a delivery. It's a hit in the gap between short and third. Gets past Mark Corman. And so the second base runner is going to come home. The hitter gets the second. So on a fielding error, they score another run. It's nine to one. Five runs here in the top of the fourth. Fouls off to the right side. Blooper down the third base line, picked up by Owens. He's out at first. Stops the bleeding here at the top of the fourth. It's nine to one. Five runs scored by the Cardinals. Cardinals. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. City Pharmacy has brought to you quality professional pharmaceuticals since 1963. Joe and Amber Wool will help you with your medications, durable medical equipment, cosmetics, gifts, and greeting cards. Your hometown pharmacy, City Pharmacy, downtown Minneapolis. Great four day up the bat for the Lions. Here in the bottom of the fourth, trailing by eight, nine to one. Lions in their crimson and, ro and uh, royal blue. So delivers on the outside corner strike one. Is it delivery? Try to catch that corner again, but misses one and one. Swing and a miss by Forte. One and two the count now. He 
connects, gets to the pitcher, and he gets it over to first. One down. Adam Klein up to bat. Play center field. Side corner, one and one. Two and one the count. Three and two, or three and one, excuse me. Walks in, finds on base with one out. Number 19, Dylan Crossan, designated hitter, is up to bat. Got to base the last time up, I believe, on a getting hit by a pitch. And it's one of three stranded at the end of the inning. Outside corner. 2 0, I think, is the count. Yep. Inside corner, strike call, one and two, the count for Dillon. Swing and a miss, two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two outs now. Casey Argenbright up to bat. Delivery, swing and a miss. Hello. One and two, the count. It's uh, nine to one. Ball. Two and two, the count. Outside corner, cut. Casey looking. Casey at the bat, struck out. Nine to one after four innings. Top of the fifth coming up. We'll be back after the word from our sponsors. 
If you're searching for the right insurance to fit your needs, look no further. The Scott Osherman Agency is the place to go. American Family Insurance has been providing security and peace of mind for over 80 years. Call the Scott Osherman Agency in Minneapolis, your American Family Insurance agent. Todd and Shelly Wilson and Wilson Shields Funeral Home offer affordability and dignity. They know that the Minneapolis Lions will have a great season and want to wish them the best. Wilson Shields Funeral Home, our family serving your family. Welcome back to the ball yard in the Ottawa County Fairgrounds of Minneapolis. The Lions trail the Plainville Cardinals 9-1 to one after four. Five innings scored by the Cardinals in that inning. Uh... First game, they scored seven runs in that inning. Shard up to bat for the Cardinals. Owens delivers, string and a miss. Owen won the count. But again, outside. Oh, say it caught the corner. Owen to the count. Swing and a miss. Th thought he maybe foul tip, but Shard strikes out. Gillian, second baseman, up to bat with one down. Hit to Sean Forte at third. Gets over leg lighter. And Gillian. Goes second on the fielding error. To the plate, the catcher, one out, one runner on. <laughs> Owens looks the runner back to second. Ball's low, Jensen stops it. Keeps the bat runner on second. Fourth steal attempt. A third gets thrown out. Owens to Forte. So two down here. Top of the fifth, nine to one to score. No runners on. Foul. Here's the liver balance, a high and outside. 2-0 the count. High foul down third base line, it's way out of bounds. Grabs it, just out of his reach. Runner's safe at first. Little blooper hit there. Low and outside. One no the count here, two outs, one runner on first. 
is the delivery. It's a hit. Foul up behind the screen. There's a hit over the third base. Corman bounces in front of him. To the cutoff man, it's short. Target right. Runners hold at first and second. Two outs. Top of the fifth. Nine to one is the score. It's a hit. To short gets by him. We're going to score a runner. The other runners hold it first and second. Ten to one the score. Here in the top of the fifth, two outs. Owen delivers. Swing and a miss. Owen won the count. The delivery. It's a hit. Argon Bright snags it. Prevents a potential 10 run rule here in the fifth. Score 10 to 1 after four and a half innings. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School linebackers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast to the Lions games. Join them as they support student activities and the teachers of Minneapolis Junior Senior High School. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. Bennett Autoplex supports the Minneapolis Lions. At Bennett Autoplex Salina, you'll find a small town family atmosphere with great prices on new and used cars. New GMC trucks and SUVs. Serving their customers since 1957, Bennett Autoplex Salina. Center fielder, hit by Corman. Losing to first base here in the top of, the bottom of the fifth, excuse me. So one runner on, no outs. Austin Jensen up to bat. Ball one. Foul. Mud Jensen. One and one the count. Outside, counts two and one. And he hits it to the second baseman. Four side at second, double play. Sean. Two down here in the bottom of the fifth. Ten to one the score. Sean Forte up to bat for the Lions. Good defense, guys. Two down. Outside is the pitch. One of them. Two no count here. Here's the delivery inside high three and zero. Oh. John steps into the batter's box. 
drag one. Three and one to count. Here's the second next pitch. Foul tip. Three and two the count. Outside corner, got him looking. Sean got up in the count. Three and oh, and the next three were the strikes. So the top of the fifth in, or the bottom of the fifth is over, and after five innings, the Lions trail 10 to one. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. All your insurance needs, check with Bob Martin, your Farm Bureau Financial Services representative in Minneapolis. He can ensure what matters most with Farm Bureau Financial Services. Bob can help you protect what's important. Your car, home, life, health, business, and more. Welcome back to the ball yard at the Ottawa County Fairgrounds in Minneapolis. Top of the sixth coming up. The Lions trail 10 to 1. Here, behind the Plainville Cardinals, the pitcher is up for the Cardinals. Delivery by Owens. It's Bunt is down the first baseline. Rolls foul. So Owen won the count. Here's the delivery. Low and in the dirt, one and one now. Batter's back in the box. There's the delivery. Hit. Owens in the mitt. Stops it, recovers, and throws him out. One down here in the top of the sixth. Brings up the first baseman, number 14. 10 to 1 is the score in favor of the Plainville Cardinals. The left field, lefty uh, handed batters start to come up again. Foul. On the inside corner, but no strike. One and one, the count. One out. There's a hit to the third baseman, or it's by him. Argon Bright knock, gets her down, but uh, not able to get a throw to first in time. So one runner on with one out. Owens tries to get the runner first. No luck. Hi. It's one and a no. The catch or uh, what am I saying? Foul down the right field line. Thanks for putting up with me, folks. Here's Owen's delivery. Two and one the count now. One runner on. Represents what could be the winning run for the Cardinals. The blooper to Corman at second. He catches it. 
puts the runner out. Becker number 12 at the bat. Drag one on the inside corner. Two outs here, top of the sixth, 10 to one, Cardinals. He's hit to second. He bobbles it, but recovers and put him out. Here in the top of the sixth. No runs by the Cardinals this inning. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. The State Bank of Delphus and the Ottawa County Bank in Minneapolis are locally owned community banks. Committed to making your banking experience as easy and personal as possible. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Welcome back here to the ball yard at the Ottawa County Fairgrounds of Minneapolis. Dale Leach broadcasting the game here for... Eagle Communications. Double header here with the Plainville Cardinals. The Lions trail now in the bottom of the sixth. Ten to one. Now pitching for the Cardinals. Number 14, Mono Smith. Mono Smith comes on to pitch for the Cardinals here. The bottom of the sixth. League lighter is up for the Lions here. First baseman. Here's the first pitch. Strike one. There's the next delivery that they hit to over oh, the second baseman for League Lighter. He'll hold the first. Nine, Matt, Matt Corman, Corman, the left fielder, up to bat. So one runner on, no outs. The delivery is outside and low, and League Lighter is going to go to second. scoring position. Mona Smith delivers outside. 2-0 oh the count. And it gets away from him. The glider's going to advance to second. All right, settle down now. 3-0 the count for Mona Smith. Outside, strike over the corner. 3-1 the count. One runner scoring position for the Lions. Lake Ladder at third. Here's the pitch. In the dirt. Ball four. Runners at the corners now. Craig Forte up. No outs here. Top, bottom of the sixth. Adam Klein on deck. Forte gets the sign from the coach. The skipper. The delivery. Strike one over the outside corner.
Here's the second pitch coming up. Way outside. Low. One and one to count. Craig Forte, the batter. Here's the delivery. Low again, two and one the count. Let's go, find the mid, here we go. And here comes the delivery. Mona Smith. The hit by Forte high and the right field. He catches it. And the runners hold at first and third. To the plate comes the center fielder, number 32, Adam Klein. One out. Adam Rooster Klein up the bat. Delivery and it's a hit in the gap between second and third. Leg glider scores. Matt Corman to third. And Adam Klein gets a run batted in. And a hit. It's safe at first. 10 to 2 now. Dylan Crossan designated hit designated hitter up to bat. And I'm gonna run out of tape, folks. Five minutes left. Swing and a miss for Dylan. Comes the delivery. Ball two. Or ball one, excuse me. One and one the count. And here's a delivery, swing and a miss. Klein steals second. So runners at second and third in scoring position. One out. Ball. Two and two. The count. Dylan Crosser, the batter. One out. Runners at second and third. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Catcher drops it, so Crosson runs first. But they throw him out. Two outs now. Runners at second and third. Ten to two. Bottom of the sixth. Casey Argon right up the bat. So two down. Low outside, gets away from the catcher. That's going to score Matt Corman. And Klein moves to third. So 10 to 3 the score. at the bottom of the sixth. Let's see if I have another tape here anywhere hiding in the bag. I do, I do. Here's a delivery outside. 3 0 the count. Two 
Ten to three to score, bottom of the sixth. Strike one. Three and one the count. Mona Smith pitching for Plainville. Ball four. Argonbrack takes the base. I'll change states to be back.
Okay, here in the bottom of the sixth. Klein steals is safe. Makes the score 10 to 4. John Corman's up to bat. And uh, there's two outs. Argenwright moved to third. Inside pitch. One and one the count. Two and one, excuse me. Outside, low, three and one to Corman. And so he walks in. Runners at first and third now with Argon Bright and John Corman. And the Plainville coach is going to come up and talk to Mona Smith. We'll take a break and be back. Austin Jensen is up to bat for the Lions. Wilson Shields Funeral Home. Our family serving your family. Okay, they leave the pitcher in there, Mona Smith. Again, the Lions trailing 10 to 4 here. They scored three runs here in the bottom of the sixth. Ball one, and Corman goes to second. So two runners in scoring position now. Mona Smith delivers. Hit by Jensen, down, foul down third base line. count. The delivery is hit by Jensen. Foul again down the third baseline. Just foul. One and two the count now. Here's the delivery. Swing. Struck him out, and that ends the inning. The line's trailing 10 to 4 after six. We'll be back. At Robertson Monument, they believe that supporting community activities are very important. That's why they're sponsors of Lions Sports. Minneapolis is a great town to live in, and Robertson Monument hopes you make it to as many games as possible. Farm Bureau's wide range of insurance and financial products help protect what's most important, your family, auto, home, and other possessions. Call your Farm Bureau financial services agent in Minneapolis, George Dressy. Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company. Farm Bureau Mutual Insurance Company. Welcome back to the ball yard at the Auto County Fairground in Minneapolis. The Lions hosting the Plainville Cardinals here in the second game of the doubleheader. Top of the seventh, they're down 10 to four, scoring three runs in that bottom of the sixth. Tyrell Owens still pitching here for the Lions. Gillian up the bat for the Cardinals. 
So delivery is outside and low. One another count. It's a hit to second baseman. Corman throws him out. Fouled. One and one the count. One out. Outside and high. Two and one. Swing. Of a slow ball down third baseline and wasn't going to roll out. Someone's nabbed it. Couldn't get it to first base in time. So one runner on with one out. Another lefties come up to bat again. Here on the top of the seventh line, it's trailing 10 to 4. Owens. Goes for the throw out at first, misses, or not there in time, I should say. There's the pitch, outside. One and oh, the count. Is a swing and a hit out to center field. Uh, Klein can't get it. Going to be a double. Runners at second and third. Brings up shortstop, number one, Greer. One out, 10 to four, top of the seventh. Jensen tracks it down, catches it. Two outs, two runners on. Now batting the third baseman, number 13, Cal. Outside, one and the count. There's a hit into the left field. Corman's under it and snags it. Matt Corman. Brings the top of the seventh to a close. No runs for the Cardinals in that inning. It's 10 to four. Plainville going to the bottom of the seventh. Lions need to manufacture seven runs to win this game. Eagle Communications, home of ECTV, high-speed internet, 910 KINA News Talk, and 99 KG Country is a proud sponsor of Lions Sports Coverage. Listen to live broadcast on 910KINA.com or on your local Eagle Cable, Channel 8. For all your insurance needs, check with Bob Martin, your Farm Bureau Financial Services representative in Minneapolis. He can ensure what matters most with Farm Bureau Financial Services. Bob can help you protect what's important. Your car, home, life, health, business, and more. Welcome back to the ball yard in the Otto County Fairgrounds in Minneapolis. Now Bottom of the seventh coming up. Now Lions trailing 10-4. to four. New pitcher on for the Cardinals. Another reliever. Up the bat for the Lions, Sean Forte. And League Lighter is on deck. <coughs> Swing and a miss for Forte. Owen won the count. Strike two is Sean left looking at that one.
the delivery outside. <coughs> One or two the count now. Forte at bat. Swing and a miss. One down. Batting the first baseman, number 33, Brandon Leglider. Brandon Leglider up to bat, first baseman. Inside and high to Leglider. One the, oh, the count now. Foul, one and one. Inside, two and one the count. Three and one on the count, another inside pitch. One out, bottom of the seventh. Ten to four, the score in favor of the Cardinals. Leg lighter at bat for the Lions. Strike two across the outside corner. Three and two, full count here. Here's the delivery. Walked in. So one runner on. Matt Corman up to bat. One out. Craig Forte on deck. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss by Corman. Two, I believe, is the call. Yes. One and two the count now with one out. Matt Corman batting it. One runner on, look later at, at first base. There's the deliver way outside. Look later apparently doesn't feel he has the speed to safely steal that base. Especially if it would lead to uh, out, the out they can't afford here in the second inning. The seventh inning, excuse me. There's the pitch. Swing and a miss by Corman. Strike three. Two outs now. Now batting, right fielder, number Bottom of the seventh. Break. Forte. Craig Forte at the bat. The senior. Outside, ball one. Oh no, they called strike. 0-1 oh, the count.
Here's the delivery. Inside, that's one and one. Actually, it's two and zero. Oh. That was a incorrect showing on the scoreboard. Two and zero oh the count. And hit by Forte. It's up. The pitcher's under it. Catches it for the third out. The game's over. Ten to four. The bottom of the seventh. The uh, first other game was 25 to 5, I believe. So I hope you've enjoyed this doubleheader here against the Plainville Cardinals, uh, the Minneapolis Lions. Get two defeats. Senior night. I think they'll be on the road the rest of the season.